give you a short tutorial today on what to do to virtually extract a set of teeth or single tooth or whatever um, for your use in some guided surgery programs. So, for example, in Smart by Swiss Meta, that software uh, doesn't have the function to virtually extract. I know that others do, things like Exaplan, uh, but Smop doesn't. And so if you want to do an immediate, for example, in this case, uh, this patient, we will be extracting the four, five, six, and seven. Then we need to extract those to be able to plan the guide. And uh, that could be a bit tricky. You, I used to have a tutorial which showed using this in Mesh Mixer, um, but for the purposes of this, I'm gonna show you in MeditLink. I actually think it's a little bit easier in MeditLink and the tools are free. So you can use this and follow this tutorial with any scanner. So this should be easy for you to follow. You can use this on Windows. You can use this on a MacBook if you've got an Apple chip. So uh, MediLink is great, follow along, and you should be on to win to be able to take this into your guided surgery software. So we've got our scans. We've got an upper, we've got a lower, and we want to be taking that into Medit Design. Now, if you don't know how to get this app, you just need to go to the app box and choose that app over here, okay? Uh, there's another tutorial with Minibytes on how to add apps. Now, let's click this button, let's open up Medit Design and let's have a look. It says new version is available. If there is a new version, then you might want to update. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna open it up. I'm gonna bring in some new files and you can see I've got a selection of files. I'm just gonna click to bring in the maxilla here. I'm gonna click confirm. And we bring in this maxilla that we can see just as we did before. And this is a very, very easy path to follow. One thing I will say is you can see that there already are a few implant restorations in this mouth. There is only a couple of teeth actually left and um, I think that's a natural tooth here. But regardless, we're gonna be extracting these upper right for this old bridge on this side. When you take your scans, just a little side note, something for you to follow along. Uh, when you take your scans, if you're providing um, an implant for an upper arch, something I'd always recommend is to make sure that you scan the palate as well. You can see how rough that palatal surface is with the palatal rugae. It's a really nice landmark for you to be able to match data. So if you take your scans and you're gonna be providing an implant, making a guide, then whether you're doing it or the lab's doing it, just go over a little bit more of that surface there to give you a little bit more data landmarks to be able to control your case. So let's move ahead. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this button up here. This is the edit mode. So we're gonna click on here. And there's a few ways in which we can do this. We can select things, deselect things with this little all button. But something which is really, really nice and easy in Medit is if we go to this button, smart single tooth. Now before we do that, I wanna orientate myself so I can kind of see the sides as much as possible. When it's 